gari alo mbinguni alo mbinguni nataka gari nataka gari nataka bai nataka gari alo mbinguni alo mbinguni fika na gana kwa Thank you so much. May the Lord bless you. Have a seat in his presence. You have a wonderful worship, praise and worship team. May the Lord really bless them. I'm seeing them going very far in the things of God. Because when you, you, want, you want to touch God, praise him. You want to touch God? Praise him because he will come down and do something powerful in your life. I want to say thank you so much for your coming to this meeting this week and the way you've supported me to preach. Any preacher can preach here. Because your hearts are so much expectant. People have been watching you on uh, Facebook. And they've been asking me, hey, you are preaching to a very lively congregation. Those guys are really sharp. They are really there with you. Amen, amen. I want to say thank you also to Reverend Mike Bitok for this great working relationship. We keep coming to and fro. He come, I mean, he comes to Ebuye. And we also come to this place. Thank you so much, um, Bishop Sue. The Lord really bless you. Recently, we brought a team of about uh, one bus from Webuye just to come and see him and bless him, and it was powerful. This man has touched lives in Webuye. Even if I say on Sunday, we need a full bus of people to come to uh, Eldoret, they will come because they love him. Umeunda jina bwana. Jina iko bale. Kama mujui, basi mujue. Tukisema basi on Sunday, ifike hapa. One full bus will be here. Bwana sifu sana. Sio ni baraka jamani. Asante sana. I'm sure maybe there are some who have come for the very first time. Anyone who's coming for the first time? Wiki ya uja kweko. Leo ndi umekuja. Amina penda tu watu waone mke wangu kidogo. Kuja tu usumame. Hata kama semi kitu. Wamuone kutu. Amen. Wacha wakuone. Bwana sifu sana. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. Are you okay? Amen. We are nitoa kwa shimo. Na shukuru bwana kwa ajili yake. Praise the Lord. Hey, hii ni moto. Nimepeleka hizo video ebuyo na furahi kabisa. Dada yetu la naandika hizi nyimbo please andika because naenda kufundisha watu wa webuye. Especially ile ajana. Eh. Morina you okay? Wewe ndo unaandika? Niweke kwa email ama WhatsApp. Bwana asifiwe sana. So that waende pia waimbe wataanga watakuwa naangalia na wanaimba. Nyinyi ni watu ajabu sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. Today I want us to share on altars. What we've learned the whole week is useless if you don't have an altar. Hello? An altar is a very important thing in the life of any believer or even a human being. Very, very important. We need an altar in our lives that can speak into our lives and we can speak into uh, the altar that God has given us. Now, what is an altar? An altar, according to me, is a place where the spiritual connects with humanity. Amen. For you to experience the miraculous, the blessings of God, there must be a connection between you and the spiritual. Now, the converging point or the place where you connect is what I call an altar. Buenas, Sifu 
If you come to a butere where I stay, I've made an altar that can take 80 bishops. Then there's another space where I hear what one has a car wakibarikiwa. If you don't have an altar at your home, please make an altar. Amen. Then when you come into my house, we have a first sitting room. It's like hii katikati hapa hivi kama hapa kidogo. Then after that unashuka nyumba yangu imeundwa sasa ukiingia unashuka tu chini. Then the lower one hiyo inaitwa nyumba ya mzee. Nobody goes there. Except mukija huko na mko na pastor Bitok. Yeye ndiye atakuja huko waimbaji nyinyi mtakaa huko. Mutaka kwa ile main sitting room. <laughs> Bwana sifu sana. I have a special place where I sit with the people ambao wamekuja na point hapana tu ya kuulizana mvua inanyesha ne mulizika nani ama nini litendeka ah special people wanakuja tunakaa na tunaongea mambo magumu na tunaomba. Bwana sifu sana. In that place nikikaa tu for two hours na kuwa fresh ni kama nimekaa one week. Naweka hapo wifi ya muziki naendelea na sikia mahubiri. I just relax in the presence of God. Hiyo naita home altar. Hata wajukuu akija wanajua huko huko ni kwa mzee huko atuendagi. Mambo yetu tunamalizia huko. Wanajua ukienda huko umeenda kwa point kali sana kitu ambacho ni mzuri. Na nikitaka niongee na vijana unajua young men when you've grown you need some time with your father. Eh? Nikiwaambia teremkeni huku chini with your wives tunataka kuongea kitu the antennas go high and say what does baba want to speak into our lives and what i'm trying to say is that we must have an altar a place where you connect with the spiritual a place where you can meet god bwana sifu sana such a place an altar is a place of power Amen. An altar is a place of power. And a place of power must be protected. If you have an altar, you must protect your altar. Amen. Like now here Bishop Sue with uh, Baba. He altar ni yao. Yako iko nyumbani hii yako. Hii hii ni yao kazi yao ni kuchunga nani anasimama a place of power must be protected ukija hapa na nguo mbaya bishop sio atakwambia ngose mzuri leo usikanyage ama kimbia nyumbani urudi na unakimbia haraka sana <laughs> kwa sababu lazima a protect madhabahu this is the place of power your blessings come from this place therefore it must be protected any place of power is protected that's why state house is protected ni mahali pa nguvu ukienda kahawa garrison iko protected ni mahali pa nguvu altars must be protected if you read the book of leviticus chapter 10 amen inakuwa protected ili moto kuna ile itwa strange fire isiwake hapa na hiyo ni kazi ya mwenye madhabahu that's why yesterday when i was ministering i was not looking for him i wanted to greet some people here na roho kaniambia amekaa pale akuja linde madhabahu yake <laughs> i didn't know me nilikuwa na amjoy niona nikitembea labda leo nitembea lakini amjoy when i went back there i found him i told him eh hey, madhabahu Any time you are leading you are singing you are praising don't leave this place without anyone You ni siri Madhabahu lazima ifanye nini ili moto wa uongo usiingie hapo Then Nadab and Abihu the sons of Aaron each took his censer and put fire in it put incense on it and offered profane fire before the lord which he had not commanded not anyone can come to this altar altar is a protected place that's why if you come to butere there are places where i just go to worship god your altar must be if it is going to bless you 
Siku Mungu atakubariki ujenge nyumba kushinda yangu. Kuwa na karuma ambako kanaitwa altar. Amen. 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 So, this is the place I want to meet my creator. Na huko watu waendi tu kupiga hadithi ya kunanyesha. Eh? Ma story za siasa hapana. Eh? Ati Ruto na Raila na shinda 2027. Hiyo uongei pale. Pale ni mahali pa kuinua mikono na kusema Mungu tunakuabudu. Tunasema wewe ndiye mfalme. Altar is a sacred place. Not a place for politics. It's a place where we connect with our God. Hallelujah. Number two. An altar is a place to say thank you. Amen. When God will bless you through this ministry, the city altar, there is a place you're supposed to go and say thank you. Amen. Don't go to the TV. Hello? Hata kabla ujaenda kwenu ukuja hapa kwanza. Na useme God, I have come to thank you. This is the place to come and bless the name of the Lord. Hey. Mwana wa Adam akikuonekania let up a sacrifice. Useme God, I raise an altar in this place. Hiyo ndio kazi ya madhabahu. Amen. Genesis 35 verse 6. says and Jacob came to lose sio kama ni lose ama laza ama usijali but nimesoma kwa Kiswahili inaitwa lose amen that is bethel bethel means the house of god i'm a house of bread which is in the land of canaan and he and all the people who were with him and he built an altar there and called the place El Bethel because there God appeared to him when he fled from the face of his brother. The Lord came. The Lord protected him. So he came to a place and he called the name of that place El Bethel. Hallelujah. When the Lord will bless you with what I have taught the whole of this week. When the Lord will bless you. Hey. Usichukua ndege, uende Mombasa, unasema acha niende nipumzishe mwili. Ah ah. Kuja hapa. Na useme this place. I came when I was poor. I came when I was single. I came when there were so many battles in my life. But God, you've done something great. I come to thank you. Amen. Amen. Lakini wa Kristo wetu saa zingine awajui kazi ya altar. When the Lord has blessed them, anakuambia, oh baba, I'm very busy tuko na wewe kiroho, tutaona na siku nyingine. No. Leta baraka zako kwenye madhabahu. Na useme thank you Lord. I came here jobless. I had a degree and I could not get any job, but God through your own ways you've done something. Therefore, at the altar, I take my offering. I go tell you, God, thank you. You are a blessing in my life. People have altars. Tribes have altars. Kwa wazungu wakuna tribes, but nimekuwa huko wana altars. They have a way. They do their things. And most people subscribe to their altars. There are things you must do in a year. If it will come together, people are coming together, eh, family gathering, wanaenda kuriniu family altars. And if there was anything negative in their lives, unapata inaanza kumanifest kule. Inaanza kumanifest kule. Na kama kulikuweko na kitu kizuri, if there was something good, God begins to bless them. Great things begin to happen. 
And uh, some of these things, some of these um, altars are so much found in burial places. Uh, I don't know my, more about Kalenjin, but I think I know about Wakamba. My two sons of my, uh, well, Yoko. How are you? Wajabu, Saman Wajabu. Kina Nani Awa. Kina Penina Awa. There, if you die, you're not talking about mochari straight away, Kwashimo. But Western, Western, you want to imani. They give you time to resurrect. I will kupeleki kuzika ba. Hallelujah. What your Western Muguapa? I want to go to Araka. I want to see you at 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 Araka. Hey, Rudy, man. Na usipo Rudy, wana kutuma na salamu. Enda usalimia wa malua, ambaya ni tangulia sisi. Yani wana imani, you can resurrect. Ene, what I'm trying to say is that in burial places, kuna convenance na kuna altars ambazo zinainuliwa mahali pale so watch out when you go to burial places amen eh hey. sayo melala wanakuwekea tongolo ama nani aliona tongolo ile pesa ambayo inashimwa katikati amu kuona nyinyi ni generation mpya sasa wanakuwekea hapo and they begin to talk to you hapo sasa altars zinaanza kutengezwa hapo na utapata if in your family People are poor, you also become poor. Things become so hard in burial places. Altars. People begin to do uh, some things there that are funny. Our tribes have altars. Kikuyus have altars. Wanangalia Mount Kenya wakiendelea hivyo. For some time I was in uh, Kericho. Kalenjins have also some altars. Eh, hey, nimetembea kabisa when I was in Kericho, I went to literally every church nikiangalia altars ambazo ziko mahali pale. Luos have also altars. Na hizo altars ndio zinafanya ana behave vile ana behave. Altars control you. Those are my uncles. Sasa nikiongea kwao usi usinikasirikia mama angu ni mjaluo baba ni mdui in between there. Sasa hawa jomba wangu, eh, they spend a lot of money kwa matanga. Na kama si wakichukua leave when they are going home, watabeba vinanda, computer zote, waende wa celebrate. Na wakifanya kitu, wantaka uambie, umefanya vizuri sana. Undaku barikiwa na mjaluo muambie, amefanya? Anafuraya na sema yes. Sasa yu ni adamu. Sema adamu. Si yake, ata mwenye, ata hende ya kaya Amerika, unapata tu inatendeka dani ya maisha yake. Waluya nao wana yao. Waluya wana shida. Bora umeka po ugali, siku mawiki. Hawana shida. Every muluya is like that. You want to marry, go and marry a muluya lady. Hana shida nyingi. Bora umemweke ugali. Iyo vitu ni ya damu. Alta inamanisha damu. Amen. Amen. I have a boy I told you last time. I have a boy. Our Nandi ambao alikuja huko ibuye kuuza maziwa. Walipenda msichana wetu. Na labda ako hapa huyo Nandi sijui. Na wakachukua waka wakapeana mimba huko. Na mtoto akazaliwa akatupwa kwa polisi wakasema nani anaweza chungwa mtoto and they mention my name nikachukua mtoto alikuwa anaitwa Bruce mimi nikabadilisha yeye akaita ye Moses Moses Sasa huyo mtoto ame grow ni mrefu ako class 8 Munandi mwe mrefu ako yani ni kama tunatoshana naye akija kufungua gate amebeba kijiti na mawe Ulizaga Mose. Why? Kwa nini kijiti na? <laughs> Mose does not ata ya ajui. Iyo ni vitu ya damu. Kama si munani labda ni masai. Kijiti na? Kwa nini usitupe vitu kujo fungue to get gari pita? Tunamuangalia tunasema anyway. Yuna ito wa damu. Bwana sifwe sana. Na hapo ndiyo altars zetu zinapitia maale hapo. Now something about altars. Altars can bring a limit in your life. You must deal with the altars. Altars can bring a limit in your lives. 
Amen? They can bring limits. Kuna watu wamekewa altars kwao. They will, not, they will never go beyond this selling body. Usome, ungangane, ufanyi, unafikaga tupale. Dream yako inarudi chini. You wonder, nini inatendeka? If you are going to go by your altars, altars baba yako na nani, chunga sana, uangalie, ni wapi umekewa? Ukifika hapo unapata, you are being told, go down, go down. You cannot excel in life. Amen? Your aunt never got married. The same to you. Alisema tu mimi ni single, I'm single. Nimeingia single ministry, mimi ni kama Paul. Wachana na vitu kama hiyo. Hakuna cha single ministry. Muende muolewe in Jesus name. Remove that altar and begin to see the blessings of God coming your way. Altars are very ni vitu mbaya sana. Altars ziku ziku kufunga. Bwana unaweza omba Unaweza omba, unaweza lia. Seme mungu angalia mutumishi wako melala kwa maji mungu saidia. Until we break those altars, then you can be free. Amen. I mean, this is something that is in your blood, it's in your DNA. You try to come out, but uh, that spiritual power is in your life, you cannot make it. Maybe you're passing through such a thing today. Amen. I will tell you what you can do. You will raise an altar. Hey. You will raise an altar. Kali sana. Kwetu pale mimi nimezaliwa nyumba ya baba yangu na grandfather. Ukioa unaambiwa utawa wa pili na watatu na waine. My father had four. Ukimuza kwa nini anasema hata kukaa yake alikuwa hivyo. Amen. Na hata mimi kama Yesu wange ni linda ningekuwa mtu mtu oihoi pia mimi ningekuwa nimeongeza mwingine kwa huyo. Hata ningekuwa nimefikisha watano kushinda baba yangu. Hii ni viti kwa kwa Yaani altars ni kitu mbaya sana. Sasa mnakasirika kwa nini? Altars zikukufunga. Itakuwa tabu kabisa. Bwana asifiwe sana. Eh. Hey, that's why nikitembea na jichunga tu kidogo kwa sababu hata kama umeokoka unajichunga tu. Eh. Hey, kwanza ukijua unakuja Eldoret pale Australia ni warembo wamevaa wamesoma paka wamevaa miwani unajichunga kidogo. Inabidi ukuje na mama. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because these are things that we are battling day and night. Wewe usiniambie umeokoka mwoko na mna gani? Hii ni vitu tunapigana nayo usiku na mchana. Vitu ambavyo vilishinda baba yako ku succeed in life vilikuja kwa ajili ya altars. Amen. Na inafanya tu unachelewa kuoa. Kila msichana ni mzuri. Ukionako mrefu nasema oh hallelujah. Ukiona mfupi unasema asante Yesu. Mwaka ikiisha umeba umeshabadilisha we una engage mtoto wa mtu unampenda sikia brothers mimi in life sikuwahi let down msichana hakuna hakuna hata mmoja mimi ndo nilikuwa nakuwa let down lakini ndipopata nafasi shoo nikapita mara moja ni vibaya sana ku let down mtu ni vibaya sana eh hey, tulikuwa na mwingine huko MTC aka kuwa napenda boyfriend anaenda naosha mangua anafanya kila kitu siku moja anaambiwa kadi imetoka na jina yake hakuna hapo huyo msichana alifanya nini mpaka leo hajaolewa but it's painful never let down a sister mambo mabaya itakupata ndani ya maisha those are altars that you must deal with Paka leo akasema I will never get married na akasema wanaume ni mashetani sisi si mashetani sisi ni wandugu amen just deal with the altars hiyo damu ya kwenu Mungu akusaidie you will be okay Bwana asifiwe sana so we have heads kuna watu ambao 
wanatunza madhabahu kila madhabahu inatunzwa alo kila madhabahu inafanya nini inatunzwa heads of clans wanachunga madhabahu this subject ni kubwa i can do it a whole month but i've just squeezed so that it works for 30 minutes Heads of clans are in charge of altars. Amen. Ukisikia mtu anasema huyu atufanyagi hivi, huyu atuoani na yeye, hiyo ni vitu ya clan, hiyo si Mungu. Eh. Atujua kikuyu wako kaki vizuri sana. Wewe mbinguni yako iko wapi ya kujua kikuyu wako kaki vizuri? Hiyo ni vitu ya clan ambayo inakuja kuchanganya kanisa la Bwana lisiendelee. Amen. Mimi wasichana wa vijana wangu waliponiletea kamba nikasema haleluya. Wewe umependa? Sawa. Tuko sawa. Na tukaenda huko. Tukasema kamba mnataka nini? Hata unataka tuwalishe, tuliwalisha. Tulisaidia wakamba hawa. <laughs> Amen. Tukachinja ngombe, tukawafanyia kila kitu. Bas, ndio umetupatia msichana, eh tukachukua, tukakuja tukicelebrate. Hata akisema ameenda kuchukua mtu rukana mimi nitasema haleluya. Twende tutavaa hiyo vitu yao na matope na tutaruka tawaambia asante tupatie msichana tumependa yeye bora altars ziko controlled when my daughters came home wanta kuolewa nilikuwa nakumbuka niliuliza mmoja wao ujue hii boma madhabahu yake ni gani madhabahu yetu ni ya kanisa ikifika jumapili kila nikamwambia umeokoka unapenda Yesu ujue jumapili ikifika sisi wote tunaenda wapi Amen. Misingi yetu ni kanisa. Wokovu. No tradition ya kusema ati baba yetu alikuwa akifanya hivi na huyu alikuwa akifanya hivi. There is an altar that we have already set. Wewe unasema umeokoka siku ya Jumapili unaambia pastor ningekuja lakini nilikuwa natoka tu hivi na mgeni akaingia. Wewe. <laughs> unasema hivyo si ndio? Wacha wajue alta yako inakuambia Jumapili unakuja mahali hapa kumwabudu Bwana. Amen. Now heads of clans ni watu ambao wanachunga altars. Wanakuambia ya tufanyage hivi tunafanyaga hivi ya tufanyage hivi tunafanyaga hivi dawa tunatumiaga unapakwa hii dawa ndio mambo yako yatakuwa mzuri. Hizo ni vitu ambazo zinafinya progress ndani ya maisha yako kama believer parents our fathers take care of altars amen i take care of altars anyone who comes to my home kuna vitu nataka afanye mimi ndio priest wa mahali hapo amen and your father has an altar to bless you amen because he is in charge of your of that altar he is in charge he has the right to bless you you cannot bless your father but your father can bless you because baraka inaendaga hivi chini hallelujah baba anaweza kukubariki your father needs nothing from you labda kapoketmani tu afurahi ni nani lakini you need your father more than your father needs you yeye ndiye amekamata altar usikosane na baba yako both in the spirit and usikosane na baba yako akisema tuone kama uta succeed na kuambia utaishi na utaona kwa sababu ana altar ambayo amesimama juu yake amen you know you cannot cast me if you don't have an altar that i'm subject to you cannot do that aita nishika kini huyo ni wewe ni damu yake kwa hivyo ukiona unaongea na yeye na heshima zote bwana sifwe sana baba akiongea ugonge yeye kifua unataka kufanya vitu gani a a akiongea unasema ndio dadi nimesikia kwa sababu amesimama kwa kitu ambacho kinaitwa altar amen ana altar ya kukubariki anayosema ndani ya maisha yako inaweza tendeka We have so many young men so many girls that at a given stage mulikosana you need to go back and make things right 
altar is everything in our lives. Hata kama umeokoa unahitaji hiyo. Ndio baba anaweza onekana mzee unasema mimi ni.com I know everything. Hakuna kitu mzee ataniambia. Eh. Hey. Hata kioo msichana ambaye anatoshana na wewe ita e mama. Babangu najua alioa kaoa paka tukakuwa na mwingine tulishindania tu kidogo. Tukaruka bubble gum bubble gum nani bibi ya? Tunaita e mama. <laughs> Your father is ever right. Tulijua tukiita eh alikuwa anaitwa Angelina tukiita Angelina. Buta chapo sema ni mama yenu tunasema yes ni mama yetu. Hata kama ni girlfriend ya baba yako huyo ni mama heshimu ye. Usikosane na baba. Ameshika altar. Eh. Hello. Najua vijana mnasema ah nini huyu mtoto sana amekosea mama yangu wewe vita ya baba na mama usiingilie hiyo ni vita tofauti <laughs> Najua mmeingia kwa vita mama na baba eh najua mmeingia kwa vita mama na baba hauna license kupig hao altar yao ni tofauti they are operating in a different realm of the spirit Tafuta baraka look for a blessing. Tafuta baraka vile inawezekana. Amen. Ili siku yako ya kutoka ikifika, wakusindikiza vizuri wasema enda form nyumba yako. Amen. Uwezi kuja kwa baba yako unasema utakuja saa tatu na unataka kupigia ugali yako special. You cannot do that. Alter yake ni tofauti. An operate mali tofauti na wewe. Ukiwa mbele ya baba yako nyenyekea lai eh uwe chini kabisa kama baasha ambayo ina kitu ndani yake na utaona baraka za bwana because of altars amen na hata hivi vitu vinatendeka kwa ulimwengu wa kiroho your pastor is your father kuna altar kuna sehemu ana control ndani ya maisha yako kuna watu nimeona wamecheza na baba yao wa kiroho mpaka mambo yao ikaharibika. Unashangaa nini litendeka? Amen. Tulikuwa na waimbaji wengine wakiimba, tuliimba nao, tukatikisa Kenya kabisa. But siku ya kutoka walitoka vibaya. Saa hii wanakata tu nyasi, hakuna kitu wanafanya. Yaani nothing, hakuna kitu kinaonekana. Ukubwa wote haonekani in their lives. Your pastor has an altar to direct you in your life. Bwana sifa sana. Waimbaji wangu, you are great people. Amen. Lakini baba akisema hapana hiyo wimbo leo sitaki. Weka kando. Sema baba unataka gani? That's what we'll do. Kanisa yetu hautaimba wimbo ile sitaki. Haiwezekani. Mimi ndo nitawaambia ukiimba ile sitaki nitakwambia Zabu nyimbo zingine zinafurahisha tu lakini hazinui Yesu. Hasa paka ni analyze praise and worship aniambie wewe anasema hii ni mzuri. Hata kama unajua kuimba kunishinda kubali. <laughs> Amen. Kwa sababu hii madhabahu ni ya baba si yako. We ngoja siku moja ukifomu yako tutakuja tukupigia saruti tuseme asante wewe pia umefanya vizuri. Altars are things that we should watch in our lives. Ukicheza tu kidogo na altar pap mambo yako itaharibika. Hello ah, mnipendi bwana. Hey, hey, hey. Altar ni ngumu si ndio? Angalia mambo ya altar. And the only way to deal with altars is to raise a strong altar. Amen. I know you are raised. Ulikuwa raised katika altars fulani. Na zimekuletea tabu, mshahara upati, ndoa iendi, umeolewa lakini ni kama hujaolewa, things are so hard every night unalia unasema God what will become of me in this life? I want to tell you you can make it in the name of Jesus. The only way you can fight an altar is by raising an altar. Amen. After God had given Jacob victory in Leviticus no not not Leviticus but in uh, in Genesis amen he raised an altar and he said god this far you have helped me 
na Mungu akasikia na mambo ikaanza kubadilika any time my spiritual father wanted support ama nimesema tu wacha saini ende nimtembelee amen nimeenda na kitu kizuri when he was dying eh tulikuwa tumeitwa twende tu tumeitwa tu alikuwa anawaita na awambi kwa nini amewaita si lazima kuambia amekuitia nini tuliitwa tuna tukasema nje tukapata amechoka amekuwa mgonjwa nikasema acha ni baby 40000 kenda nikaeka kwa mikono yake the last word he told me alisema james my spiritual father akwa inita apostle akwa inita bishop akwa alinitaka tu nani alisema james and i will be ri vizuri no wonder nimebarikiwa bwana siku sana alisema james and i will be ri hallelujah chunga madhabau ambayo mungu amekupatia kuna channel unajua life is made in such a way that god has given you everything but the power to unlock what is hidden in you imepewa mtu mwingine huyo mtu ni baba huyo mtu ni, eh, ni mentor akiongea ndani ya maisha yako my sister hii miaka ume struggle eldoret yote bwana atabadilisha mambo yako chunga alta kabisa Ukisikia mtu anaongea na mtumishi wa Bwana ambaye Mungu ameweka mahali hapa. Wewe usijoin. Eh. Hey. Hey. Unajua watu Eldoret wataongea chochote. Ati ati hata ana injili. Ati nani kweli mimi nikuangalia naonaga ni kama umekwisha. Eh. Hey. Umefanya nini? Eh. Hey. Don't joke with altars. Mimi when Reverend Dan was alive, kama ungetaka tukosane na wewe ongea kinyume chake urafiki kuna mzungu mwingine alikuja akaanza kuongea baba yake nikamwambia it is over my father we baba yako angapi na baba hapa mungu amekubariki your, your biological father is still alive ukisikia mtu anakuja kuongea kinyume cha baba yako utafanya nini ha eh? hallo hata kama ameruka kichwa anatembea kwa street side doret Wakisema huyu mwenda simu anapita wewe utafanya nini? Amefunga vitambaa na vilemba kwa kichwa. Utafanya nini? Ukistukia umeongea kinyume chake akikuangalia tu hivi you are gone. Nakwambia you are gone. Huyo ndio ameshikilia altar. Ameshikilia madhabahu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana atusaidie. Mambo yote ambayo nimewafundisha minus altar ni bure minus altar ni Mungu amewapatia altar angalieni hii altar altars are maintained that is my last point we maintain our altars if you don't maintain your altar it will not bless you hello hii madhabahu mmepewa hapa altar ambayo iko hapa you need to maintain Ukitaka ikubariki maintain hii madhabahu. Altars are maintained. Amen. Every month, every week tafuta kitu mzuri once in a year ama twice in a year tafuta kitu mzuri kuja tu hapa. Kuja weka hapa. Weka kwa hii sanduku iko hapa. Hiyo ndio ku maintain. Ile altar ambayo una maintain ndio itakuhudumia. Bwana wabariki. Bwana wabariki. Bwana wabariki. Niambie nini watu wawebuye? Amen. Niwapeleke salamu ama ni wa Asante imefika. Bwana wabariki. Amen. Haleluya. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu Bwana Yesu Himbilio la wewe Tumaini langu liko kwako Mimi sina uwezo Na Bwana mwingine The 
this young man came to his father, they had a contention. And then he left home. A biological father. I love a I think some people call Haste Mokambia. Rudi Bwana. Benda Mambia Babayako. Mambia Babayako. Sakarudi. Babayaka Gamambia Sinaman and Kuja. Or Wanda Gaje. Daku Pasu Maishango de Makahapa. Babayaka Gamambia. Pika Makotin Kubariki. Babayaka Gamambia Barikiwe. Kwakilo Nanda Kufanya. Babayaka Kambariki. Now, Kijana Lifkiri Babayaka Membariki. How could your Babayaka Memwambia? Window for Ulukwa Yota beer. And your many answers here. Because the reason why the father accepted to him back is because he colluded with his brothers and forced his father to bless him. So when the father said, May you go and succeed in what you have begun, the young man thought God, the man, had, the father had blessed him. Blessings. Kumbe Baba Ali Mwambia, you and your man's a yo. Ufoundu Sana. Now, I'm going memory. When your boss says, Go and succeed in what you have begun, before you celebrate, Ufikiri, what have I begun? Do you think the father of the protocol son blessed him? No. Now, when you say this on the pulpit, when you are young, you think pastors are trying to manage you. But listen, we've been where you are. We've been where you are. And we have emphasized here. Kama ulitoka kwenu muliko sana wasasi wako. Umemalisa miaka tano. Kutaka kwa ribu ingine ngapi? Eldoreti mekukata. You know what I'm talking about? Uli uliolewa kwa sababu ulifikiria mama yako sio mke vizuri How long do you want to suffer Let me tell you something We said last week part 1 Nobody is worth your anger Let go Kama baba yako angali hai mama yako angali hai Hona them And the word hona is not deserved by your parents so they have nothing to do to deserve your honor. It's a principle. It's a principle. It's a principle. Because kama uliswa baba yako anafanya nini? Utasema ni mwenda wasibu? Na kama ni mwisi, ukiuliswa baba yako anafanya kasi kani, unasema ni mwisi? Na kama mama yako ni kahapa, ukiuliswa mama yako anafanya kasi kani, unasema simu ni ongelecho, kwa ni muna nyamazia? Today, I think we have ministered to this week. And listen, friends, if somebody gives you the experience, swallow your pride. You're not growing young. You have a privilege to grow. Don't learn from your mistakes. Learn from our mistakes. All right? Chukwa sadaka. Leo tuna bariki umtu wa mungu. Chukwa sadaka yako. If you've dropped your prayer request here, we want to bless it. Amen. Kama unapeana sadaka kwa mubiri, uita prophetic through the baby. Let's honor this man of God. For him to come, you know, I expected him and But for him to be here all week, it's a real honor. It's a real honor. He has brought his experience of all these years within five days. Amen. You have your offerings ready? Ashes, somebody needs an envelope here. Ashes, somebody needs an envelope here. If you need an envelope, only pick an envelope from a smiling Asha. Come Asha, smile and be a hit Amen. Are we ready? Amen. Lift your offerings, lift your phone. Let's bless the grace of God in the man of God. Amen. If you have, uh, I want to recommend, if you have a prayer request in the course of the week, don't wait for Friday. In the course of the week, just come and drop it here. Amen. 
Lift your offerings. Lord, we thank you. First, we want to thank you that you are our Lord. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of salvation. Thank you for the gift of grace that this week has been wrapped in the life of your servant. Apostle Maumo has blessed us with his wife, shared with us the experiences of his walk with you, the challenges he's gone through, the pain he's gone through, the mistakes he's gone through. And as he shared, most of us would look at him spiritually and biologically as a, a father. Thank you for the grace for him to share freely of his experiences. We wisely learn from his experiences and become wiser and not fools to go back to the same challenges he experienced. Today we honor him. Today we bless him. Today we acknowledge the grace of God in his life. And on the same account as we honor your servant who has stood on this altar this week and administered life and grace, we take an offering, a gift to acknowledge. The Bible says if you receive a prophet and acknowledge the office they occupy, every prophet carries a reward. Each one of us today connects to the grace of a prophet. And on that account, Lord, we have our weekly request that we posted on this box, prayer box. We turn them into a testimony. They are no longer our challenges. They are no longer our problems. They are no longer our needs. We pass it to the altar. We let it be the Lord's concern. And as we leave this place today, we receive with the unction of grace, with the blessings of God. And together we bless your servant as he goes back to the church in Webuya and as he ministers across the nations of the world, as he raises and blesses sons, we decree long life, we bless his wife, we bless his family, and we decree it is well. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Tanga somoja tu alafu ni tawachilia muende. Eldore timekua tawan kubwa. Na kuna watu chumapili wanaenda kasini, wanafungua biashara, wanafanya hoteli, supermarket. Kama kuenda kasini chumapili na kusuia kutoenda kanisa. Kuna ibada hapa tume tailor for such people. If you know somebody like that, every Sunday from 6.30 to 8.30, kuna ibada hapa ya wale munafungua shops mapema, wale munafanya kasi chumapili, and things like so. If your church begins a fellowship after 11, you can come and have a first service with us. And with that said, your afternoon is blessed. You are loved. May you prosper. Anything you dreamt about from Monday, may you achieve them between now and the weekend. May the Lord give you a reason to celebrate him on Sunday. And may the Lord give you preservation. We will see you on Monday. And we we'll love you. So said ya muambia mutu unapendwa unapendwa hata kama umpende muambie pastor anakupenda love you everybody good afternoon <laughs>